Hello, my name is John O'Ellison. I'm a professional product designer and I use SolidWorks almost every day. I also teach courses in how to use SolidWorks and an issue that my students often have is they try to do a rendering and the render tools tab is missing. So we're going to look at three or four very quick ways that you can either fix this or get around it. In this example, we've created a bottle of Coca-Cola and it's got three different parts. It's got the Coke bottle, the cap and the Coke itself. We've added some appearances and some decals to make it look more realistic. But then when we go to render, we can see up here on the command manager, we don't have the render tools tab, so we can't do the rendering. So the first thing we need to do is just check that the render tools tab is visible. So if you can't see the render tools tab, just right click on any of these current tabs. For example, I've right clicked on the evaluate tab. And now look for render tools in this list. And we need to add a check or a tick next to it just by left clicking on render tools. And you can see render tools now appears on the command manager. However, if you then click on it and you find that all of your render options are grayed out like this, or indeed if you right click and you can't even see render tools there, then it might be just that we have the photo view module in SolidWorks turned off. So PhotoView 360 is an additional add-in on SolidWorks that lets you do the renderings. And sometimes by default, it's just not switched on. To turn it back on is very simple. All we need to do is go up to the Tools menu at the top and then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the menu and click on Add-ins. And then in this list, we're looking for PhotoView 360. So if you see it there, put a check next to it on the left-hand side here. And you can also put one on the right hand side here where it says startup. And if you do that, it will open every time you open SolidWorks from now on. So put a check or a tick in those boxes and press OK. And it might take a moment, but now you should see that your render options are available. If you open the add-ins menu and you can't see PhotoView 360 in there, it might be that you don't have it installed. Some of the SOLIDWORKS packages, particularly things like student licenses, don't actually include PhotoView 360, so you can't make these PhotoView renderings. But luckily, there are still a few ways you can get an image from your model. The easiest thing to do is just to take a screenshot from your model by pressing the print screen key or by using the Windows snipping tool and just taking a snip of your model. So it's not quite full render quality, but it's better than nothing. And you can also do a few little things to improve the quality. The first thing you can try is turn on real view graphics by clicking this button up here. And this does depend on your graphics card, so it might not be available on your system. You can also turn off the edges of your model by clicking on this option. So currently we're on shaded with edges. Let's try just shaded. And you can see that looks a little bit better already. If you're finding that your screenshot isn't really high quality enough for you, you can also save the model out directly as an image. And you can do this just by going up to the file menu, then going to save as. Then change the save as type option and just choose one of the image options at the bottom. There's quite a few different ones, JPEG, PNG, TIFF, for example. PNG is a good one that's a good mixture of not being too large a file, but also being quite good quality. And when you've selected the one you want, you can also click on options down here. Then if you change the capture type from screen capture to print capture, you can then increase the image quality down here. So 300 DPI is usually a pretty good trade off between file size and quality. So set the options you want and then press OK. And then you can just save it as a PNG or whatever image type you choose. And if we look at that, you can see it doesn't look too bad considering it's not actually a proper rendering. So the final option we can do is just save our SOLIDWORKS assembly, either as a SOLIDWORKS assembly or as a step file or something like that. And then we can import it into a third party rendering program, something like Keyshot. So for this example, this is a rendering program called Keyshot. I can just drag the SOLIDWORKS assembly directly into it and then all the parts will load and then I can add the new appearances and decals and do a rendering of that. So just while that final picture is rendering, I hope this video has fixed your problem or given you some options to get around the issue. If you'd like to learn more about SOLIDWORKS, 
then I've got an extensive 12 hour SOLIDWORKS course. This takes students from being complete beginners and it uses real world examples to take them all the way up to being able to use SOLIDWORKS confidently. I've also got a number of more specialist courses focusing on other aspects of 3D modeling and the links to those are in the description below. So thanks for watching and happy modeling.